Morning. Morning. Oh my God, we fell asleep. Well, I was going to sneak out, but I know girls get mardy when I do a midnight runner. You're my number one bird, obvs. Oh, I feel so special. Oh, I can hardly go shit my mouth off about it, can I? Not when I'm your dirty little secret. It's not like that. Mm. What is it like, then? I could take the day off. And you could take me on a secret date. Mm. Ask me politely, and I might do. Donna, you up? Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, Ty, I'll be down in a sec. Um, stay here till we've left for school. What, I need a slash? Oh, cross your legs. Well, Zach off too now. I'm going to have to phone the agency, I think. Well, I could drive a tractor in a straight line, but I draw the line at cows. Really? I've heard you're the biggest cowboy in the business. Hiya. Pleased to see you. Yeah? About time. Oh, I'll save you, will you? Cows just dumped me, so it's a miracle I'm even in work. <sighs> well, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Champagne in your luxury hamper. Nah, no, save that for girls you don't mind being seen out with me. Mm. Why is that? Really? Well, it's early days, isn't it? I've got to think about April and my job. Shall we a little look then, shall we? Ooh! Pork pies. Ham and tomato sonnies. And a selection of fair value crisps. Well, Posh ones are like shrapnel. Oh, all washed down with... <gasps> hey, they are a great vintage. They're not even past the sell-by date. What did you bring? My purse, to bail you out and pay for it all in the garage. All right, I said I'd pay you back. I must have left my wallet in my overalls. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Skin flint. Right. <laughs> Say you're sorry for dissing my romantic picnic. Make me. What could we do now, then? Go for a long, bracing walk. It's Marlon. He says I'm not to worry, but I have to call him back as soon as I get this. April's been sick at school. He's going to go get her, but I'm going to have to go. <sighs> I'm really, really sorry. Oh, don't sweat it. I'm not short of offers. Oh, don't be like that. It's my daughter. I know. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried everything to get through to Andy, but he's in a really dark place right now. Why well, surprise? You saw his arms shredded by a laughing boy over there. I'm about live on a podcast on No wonder you stayed away from me today. Did you not think I would find out? No, only you could make things worse. What were you thinking, kicking off at him like that? Oh, no, do I? No, I don't know, do I? Well, you need to say sorry to Andy. Selfish little boy. The last thing he needed was you playing the victim. Pine, please. Andy, you're on strong painkillers. Look, I'll, I'll get you a low alcohol lager. Andy. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say, mate. Um... I was probably out of order last night. Probably. Okay, so I was. Well, I know it looks bad now, but you'll bounce back, you know? I mean, everyone keeps saying how young and fit you are. You'll be all right. Well, I'm glad you think so, Adam, because the doctors don't. Don't listen to that set of doom mongers. What, do you all know that I don't? Got a crystal ball, have you? No, Andy, it's just that we know you. You're stubborn and strong. You, you will get there. Yeah, you'd love to believe that, because then your precious son would be off the hook. Sick pay, job for life, nerve damage. There's no guarantees, Moira. That's why I've got to put me and my kids first. Make sure I've got some sort of future. I've made the decision. And I'm suing for compensation. So I'll see you in court. 